What's up everybody? This is Vince Dalmani. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Skinny Guy Savior. Today is a very special day. Today is the day we've all been waiting for, the day I've been telling you about uh, for a long time now, the day that my gym officially gets installed. Today, within a few short moments, there's gonna be two 50 foot trucks out here in my court and they're gonna be rolling in and they're gonna be uh, bringing all the equipment around the back here, through the back door, into the basement here, which is gonna be soon to be Jim Del Monte. So I'm very excited to be doing this episode here for you guys. And if you're new to the show, how the show works is very straightforward. I answer your questions in 60 seconds or less and I take the questions right off my Facebook fan page. So the first question, we're actually gonna only answer one question today and uh, it has to do with these beauties back here. And the question goes to Somnath. Uh, Somnath asked, it's how appropriate, great question, I'm so happy he asked this. As you can see, this came right off my page. He says, hi Vince, I heard about fat grips for optimum muscle engagement during presses and curls. How advantageous are fat grips over normal grips? Please share your views. So I'll show you what fat grips are in a moment. But to answer your question, they are so advantageous for muscle growth that the dumbbell set that I purchased is completely fat grip based. Every set of dumbbells on this rack here are fat bar handles. And not only are they fat bar handles, but they spin. Um, these are called Watson dumbbells. Some of you may have seen these in Charles Poliquin's videos and other videos. And um, these are stainless steel, uh, which means they're rust proof. They're made in the UK. Uh, they're calibrated, so what it says they weigh is actually what they weigh. And one of the biggest benefits of fat bar training, uh, thick bar training, is that it recruits a different um, recruitment pattern from your arms. So you're going to essentially bring up your weak links, specifically your arms, forearms, which is oftentimes a limiting body part, is a weaker body part on most guys, preventing them from making gains in the bigger body parts. So essentially, these dumbbells are going to help you grow almost immediately. Uh, anybody who's ever used them for the first time, anybody who's used fat grips for the first time, typically says they notice gains almost instantly because you're using different musculature you've never used before. If you think about it, if you've been training five to ten years with just a normal barbell or, or dumbbell, your musculature is adapted to that. So this is why I wanted to get something different, something my gym doesn't have, something that most guys don't have access to. So when you guys come here for um, Hypertrophy Max boot camps, you're gonna be able to get a different workout experience just by holding these dumbbells, just by picking them up. So um, I, I discovered these dumbbells, if you guys haven't noticed yet, uh, this is, these used to be Charles Poliquin's. And the famous strength coach of 30 plus years, uh, the guy who pretty much invented the personal training industry, the fact that any, this was, uh, Charles Poliquin Paul, Paul in my opinion doesn't get much, as much credit as you should, uh, but I mean, the fact, if you're in the fitness industry, he practically invented the fitness industry and the personal training industry. So if you have a job um, making a living as a trainer, uh, you have him to thank because you know, 30 years ago, there was no such thing as strength coaches. He was one of the very first strength coaches. Uh, anyways, I'm going off topic. Back to the Watson dumbbells here. When I was at one of his courses, the five day hypertrophy boot camp in, in Rhode Island, um, I asked him about them and he mentioned that they were for sale. So, being the guy that I am, when I see something I want, I get it. I told him I want them. And um, he said, Well, I'm selling them. So, I put a deposit down. And 11 months later, they finally arrived at my front door. Um, took a while to get them through customs and over the border and freight and all that stuff. But they finally arrived. Just brought them downstairs a few days ago. And um, one of the coolest things about these dumbbells is that they have magnetic plates. And the dumbbell set here goes from 2.5 pounds all the way up to 102.5. So basically I have dumbbells up to 102.5 pounds in two and a half pound increments, which is amazing because as we all know, sometimes going from you can third, or, you know, from a 30 to 35 is kind of too much, but 32.5 would be perfect, but your gym doesn't have 32.5. So your set suffers. So now we can make more incremental gains, get better results, safer results, 
simply by having more um, magnetic plates to add onto the side. So it's pretty cool. I'll show you how these work. You know, this this is a 30, right? So you know, you're doing your curls and you want to go up in weight, but 35 doesn't let you hit your goal reps. So you're like a 32.5 would probably be perfect. So we slap on two one and one and quarters. And now we have 32.5, so you can do your sets. The first thing people say when they use these is, holy cow, these feel heavy. Um, they feel heavier than probably what you're used to using, uh, probably because they're calibrated to the right weight. Most weights aren't calibrated properly. Um, and they're really easy to take off. You just uh, twist and pull. Actually, if you just pull, it's a workout in itself. Um, so twist, that's a workout in itself. <laughs> Uh, twist and pull. There you go. So my wife can use them as well, um, and um, that's pretty much it. So those are Watson dumbbells. Those are the dumbbells I've equipped Jim Del Monte with. And hopefully, if you can join uh, me and Ben here for Hypertrophy Max Boot Camp one day, these are the dumbbells we're going to be using. So. Uh, Pretty amazing stuff. I'm looking forward to using them. I haven't used them for a while, so um, I'm expecting to see some great gains on myself as well once I start putting them to use. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, what I've got planned here for the next batch of episodes is we're going to flip the cameras around in a position so that as the guys are bringing the equipment through the back, you're going to see the gym being set up. Pretty cool, right? I wanted to do that for you. I thought it'd be fun. And uh, you know, this is something I'm only gonna do once in my life, so I might as well make the most of it, right? So um, hopefully it's not too loud while they're bringing stuff in and out and setting stuff up, but I'll still try and answer your questions in a backdrop where the gym is getting set up. So exciting next batch of episodes. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified right away when a new episode comes up. We'll get to more of your questions next time. Talk to you soon.